It was Dublin five goals and 18 points, Tyrone 12 points. There's a 21 point defeat for uh, Brian Dewar's team, a real confidence denter ahead of the championship. And in truth, this was a non event of a contest in the second half. The lights went out in the Tyrone challenge in a crazy five minute spell during which Dublin got three goals. Keen Murphy, Colin Buskell, his second, and Norkin O'Dell. That put a gap of 21 points between the teams. And while it one stage got down to 20 points, it uh, finished at 21 points. Uh, Con uh, Paul Mannion kicking a couple of scores on his introduction. But overall, uh, John, this, uh, this game was over a long way out. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse as well than the, than the five goals suggest. And to answer Des's question, I, from memory, I think Kerry gave Tyrone a bit of a pace in the league in 2021. And I do recall Jack O'Connor uh, after the game saying there was nothing in it only for the six goals. So what happened in 2021, Tyrone came back and ended up winning the All-Ireland, so there might be a lesson in that, but on, on today's evidence they have a lot of work to do before their championship on, on the 21st of April, but yeah, look at the Dublin, I think if there's a lesson to be learned about playing Dublin and playing in the league is get them in round one and two and try to get points off them early as, as, as Monaghan and Mayo did because they've been just rampant afterwards, uh, scoring heavily. I expected them to hit around the 20-point, the 20 22-point 22 mark today, but my God, to score, to end up scoring uh, all that 5-13, or 5-17, I should say, or 18 is very impressive. But yeah, look, a lot of work for, for Tyrone to do, and uh, Dublin and, and uh, Derry, which should be a fascinating, actually, a repeat of last year's Division 2 final is the Division 1 pairing this year. Yeah, Interesting, well, yeah. I was just going to say that 